What I'm interested in is what kind of art did you used to do, and then describe the transition to the dots. Okay. I used to do architectural drawings um, in, a, in, in the context of, um, uh, like I would, I would take uh, photographs from weird angles of buildings and then I would uh, paint those buildings, but I would also change the colors and that sort of thing. So it became a very, um, it became a very um, structured sort of uh, painting. It was very structured. Okay, so. Go ahead. You, um, the, here come the dots. Give me the beginning. Um, I started, actually, I can tell you exactly the painting it started. It was um, a museum. The Fort Collins Museum had um, commissioned a piece of the museum, the front door of the museum. And I did that, and I accidentally dropped some paint on the, on the painting in itself. And, I, and then I put some more paint on top of that dot yeah. because it was like, oh, that's cool. And then put some dot on top of it. That was the first dot. I totally remember that that was the first dot. And then do you do some dots after that, or all I dots? started. No, I started putting the dots in the architectural structure okay. as like a texture, or you know, a surface. Uh, instead of bricks, drawing books out, I would put in these dot structures so that it would allude to bricks. That kind of a thing. Yeah. What year are we? Um, that was all the way up until about 2006, and then 2006, I totally went just straight dots, totally uh, not objective, abstract. It was just one painting was this, and then the next one was like, I'm only doing dots. Well, I consciously said, I'm only doing dots. Okay. I consciously said, this is it, I'm doing dots. And, it, and that was um, at the beginning of 2006. Okay. And then my other question is, describe the moment when you realized, when you saw the connection between your paintings and the cancer cells. What went through your mind? It was freaky. I, um, it was in 2010, it was in July, and I can <clears throat> remember, I was just at the computer doing anything. I mean, I, I don't even remember what I was doing, but I remember thinking, I wonder what my cancer looks like. And I Googled uterine cancer and then hit images. And there were several up there that just, I mean, I literally like got goosebumps and I sat there with them and didn't, didn't move the mouse or anything, just stared at them. Then I got very intrigued and then kept looking at all of them. And I started looking at different kinds of cancers, what they looked like as opposed to the kind that I had. Yeah, it was freaky. It was really weird. So was it those first images of the uterine cancer where the light bulb Yes. Yes.